In 2015, when we had 47 African-American teaching elders, we had a total of 4,784 teaching elders. I was shocked. We had even fewer Hispanic teaching elders than we had African-Americans. Now we have more Korean or Korean-Americans because of our history in Presbyterianism, but still the number's shockingly low. That was a galvanizing moment for me. I determined that what had to happen was not just to do something practical, but, but to go for a redemptive paradigm shift. And I say redemptive because immediately what I contrasted where we were in 2015 with was where the church is going toward Revelation 7-9. In Revelation 7-9, the church is revealed to John the Apostle in her glory by her differences. He says in Revelation 7, 9, After this I looked, and behold, a multitude no one can number from every nation, from all tongues and tribes and languages, gathered before the throne and before the Lamb, dressed in white robes. One of the things that I love about the ethos of the Unity Fund is that it is really a practical engagement of, of our Lord's command to love our neighbors as we love ourselves, uh, to extend that love. And that's particularly um, often most challenging across lines of racial and ethnic um, difference. And the Unity Fund is saying, we want to help our churches live into this perplexity that they have about how to do that and how to engage across lines of ethnic and cultural difference um, we want to we want to be your partner and help you to do that and show you here's one very tangible way that you can have kingdom impact for the next generation in this denomination just before he ascended into heaven jesus said go and make disciples of all peoples these were his words to his first disciples and these are his words to us in the Presbyterian Church in America today. If we were to follow this great commission and to see fruit from it, we desperately need more leaders among us who express the greater diversity of the all peoples Jesus spoke of in the commission. The PCA Unity Fund is crucial to this. This fund is already working to see this come to bear. We have given out 41 scholarships in the last year for students of minority backgrounds to come and pursue gospel education in seminaries or alternative expressions. Uh, we now want to see minorities come on board in more and more established churches in assistant or associate pastor positions who may then go out and plant churches themselves or just assist the progress of the gospel in those places. Where we see minority leaders in place, we see more and different kinds of people reached for the gospel. So please give to this fund. We have a $200,000 annual budget, which we would like to see increased to give away for scholarships in these staff positions. And we have the goal of a $5 million endowment long-term for this fund. Would you consider giving sacrificially and joyfully to the PCA Unity Fund? And one of the things that's been amazing of, of, of particular importance is the Unity Fund um, as evidence that I am actually welcome to be a part of this fellowship um, and encouraged to be a leader. We have been um, really blessed uh, with the Unity Fund. And uh, yeah, it's a wonderful opportunity uh, to get us more involved with the PCA while we're here and also to train us and equip us to go back home and serve our country and so we urge you to please give to this fund and uh, yeah help us advance God's kingdom and I think for the PCA um, one of the best investments you can make is investing in minority pastors um, for the good of God's kingdom uh, the propagation of his word so I'd ask that you would humbly consider supporting the PCA unity fund so people like me can study be equipped and be sent for God's mission Thank you.